Today's Albion Online video is all about the unbeaten corrupted dungeon build. What if I told you that there is a player that exists in Albion Online who has murdered over 15,000 players in corrupted dungeons and has never died. He has never lost. He has never been defeated to my knowledge and from what I can research. I don't know for certain, but uh, I, I have to show you this. We're gonna, sh I'm gonna, we're gonna look at the build, and then we're gonna try the build out for ourselves and see if we can make it work. So on <laughs> Albion Asia, that's right, on Albion Asia, there is a player named Big Lazy Cat, and he is the top ranked of all time corrupted dungeon infamy farmer with 188 million <laughs> um, infamy. So Asia's been out about a year now, and that's a lot. This man has killed 15,252 people. That's insane. That's ridiculous. This is his Billy Billy link. I don't know how to read that webpage. I'm sorry. But th the crazy thing is, is that he's never died. At least the game doesn't show that he's had any recent deaths. And uh, he's got recent kills. Look, this is... Uh, I'm filming on April 11th. It just turned April 11th. So uh, he killed someone literally hours ago. Literally hours ago with this build. And this build, it's pretty simple looking. It's a great hammer. And I guess when he's fighting, he uses Threatening Strike and he uses Slowing Charge and uh, Energy Passive for his chest piece. And sometimes he uses a different chest piece, but right now he's using Soldier Armor. He's got Rage, Toughness, and Spirit Crush. And then he's got Purge Helmet, the Feeding Cow. And for boots, he's just using any boots with a rejuvenating sprint and defense. So he's, he's a dual plate. Cloth Helm, he's also got a Demon Cape. And uh, now here he's using a Cabbage Soup and a 6-1 and a Heal Potion. But he's, uh, he's tended, he tends to use Deadwater Eel Stew. So um, I believe I have the image saved here. And we're going we're, we're gonna to try the build out. We're going to see how we do with this man's build. I'm assuming it's a man. But uh, yeah, let's get off Asia. And uh, let's try this on... On, on West, see how we do, see if we kill anybody, see if we survive, see if it feels good. Is Does it farm good? Are we supposed to invade players or are we supposed to avoid being invaded? And here, let's switch to uh, West here. There we go, that's what I'm used to looking like. <laughs> All right. So, with that said, um, let's go ahead and get to Cure Leone and get a little set out. All right, now, fun story, fun story time while we uh, gear up here is when I first started Albion, I my favorite weapon that I wanted to fame up first was the Great Hammer, the, the exact weapon we're using today. But I never really got that far, and I got kind of bored of it, and I, <laughs> and I just didn't do so good. Where, what is my... Here's my hammer spec. You can see Great Hammer. I made it to 62 as a little new player, and then I quit, and then when it, the game went free to play... It was way harder to level up back in the day, so 62 was a lot, all right? And when it, when the game went free to play, I, I did Grid X for a while, and then I eventually went to Crossbows. Yay! All right, so let me take a look at that image I have saved on my other monitor, and we're going to go with Great Hammer. And I'm going to do Tier 4.2. That should get me in. Let's do Outstanding. Ugh, why is that so expensive? Like, I, I get it that's Carly Odin, you know, but what, whatever. All right, we'll just uh, we'll just buy this one then. There we go, and then a soldier armor. There we go, nice little soldier armor. And what else do we have? Just uh, royal boots. Why not? I know the IP is not that big. And then uh, fiend cowl. Oh boy, those are pricey. Okay, okay. Demon cape. There we go. Get ourselves a demon cape. Riding horse. And, yeah, we just need a tier 3 one of those. Let's up all this stuff on right there. There we go. And we'll do the passives. Wait, actually, no, we do that one. For the mob farm. All right, looking good. Now, for PvE, I'm going to be using, uh, I guess, well, hell. I don't know. I'll, I'll just use this and then that for now. And I'll switch to the, the slow sprint when we, when we invade. All right. Deadwater Eel. Stu. I'm just going to use the regular one. I'm not going to use the fancy one. And then healing potion. I'm not going to use the enchanted one either. I'm just going to go with... I'm going to go with tier 6 though. Alright. We are all set. And then I guess I'll get a regular like tier 4 bag. Why not? There we go. Just in case. We get some looties. And we're all set. 
we're all set, ready to go. Do a Corrupted Dungeon. Now, I know he's doing Slayer. Obviously, the guy is doing Slayer. He has an Awakened Weapon. I understand the stuff that he's got going on. But, well, I'm, I'm not willing to go that far just to try a build out, you know, and just mess around. Okay, here we go. We are going out to Craig Moore. And, uh, not really the best exit for finding a Corrupted Dungeon. But it is dead hours. There shouldn't, there's two gankers out here, and, uh... You know, I shouldn't be too worried. I'm, <laughs> I've got a cheap. I think my set's cheap. Three hundred thousand? No, <laughs> this set's not really that cheap, is it? Heck, no, it's not. Well, we'll see how we do. We'll see what the spear, what the uh, the clear time is like, because that's what I'm curious. How fast can I clear the corrupted dungeon if I don't fight anybody, right? And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we see. We'll see how we go. And uh, if Big Lazy Cat is being carried by his build. Or his skill, or maybe there's just something else going on there. I'm not really sure. But he was beating people at equal item power. He was beating meta builds, and you, know, you don't see that. You don't see a person with 15,000 kills and zero deaths. You just don't... It, it's not a thing that happens in this game. So, is it? it's not a game dev. Surely it's not. It's not like he somehow has a... Maybe he disconnects right before he dies and it doesn't log it or something? What if? Like, you never truly know about these things, right? But we're, we're just gonna see how it feels real quick. And there's the Corrupted Dungeon. We got Stalker selected. Let's go ahead and enter before this Stone Golem aggros us. And, oh, he thought about it. He thought about it. Now, we are in the Corrupted Dungeon. We're going to flag up for PvP because I want to bash some kneecaps, so to speak. And this is the newer ability. Wait, no, it's not. It's not new. Dang. You don't get the new abilities till the 15th. Well, whatever. That means he's probably using Heavy Smash to clear. I guess I'll clear left side first. There's more mobs over there. Alright, let's uh, see how hard we hit. I don't know. That's gonna... Isn't that just gonna pop my cape if I auto? Yeah, it's just gonna pop my cape. See, I don't... I'm not a... I'm not really a fan so far. Oh, I guess we'll eat the stew. Why not? Get some cooldown reduction. And there we go. Big Heavy Slam. Boom! Kill those doggos. All right, how much does that hit enemies for? Not not a lot. This is not a very good mob clearing build. I mean, and then the helmet? Is there something else I can use? Like, I, I can only hit enemies like one at a time. Here we go, big slam. There we go. Big power slam. I don't, I, I know on the 15th, this, this build will be even faster, you know, and more friendly for mob farming, but look, look how long it takes for me to kill single mobs. This does this not feel good. Look at that. I'm already on low HP. The PvE on this definitely sucks. Definitely. And I now, I am in plates. So I'm not hitting as hard. Right? So that that is a thing. But I feel like maybe... Does this guy just invade and he doesn't do the PvE at all? He just, like, AFKs until, like, he gets an invade and then he just kills? Is that what he does? What about builds he can't kill? What are the, I want to know. What are the builds that this man can't kill? That's a big lot of enemies. I don't even want to fight that with this build. I'm scared. Look at that. I'm just wasting my cape. Does he? I can't take the cape off either. So, like, does he just not auto? I swear, like, how, how do people, like, play this game like this? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm not a fan so far. I am not. I'm not feeling this build. I mean, look at that. That doesn't really hit all that hard, right? And yes, I could demon cape and kill all of them, maybe. And I could probably stun these guys so they don't shoot spells everywhere, but... Like, I understand now why he has the energy passive. He, it, this is a very mana-hungry weapon, right? Okay, so if I auto and into Q, that's how I can kind of, like, get extra DPS, but... Man, this is, uh, this does not feel good. This is not fun. So, hopefully the combat is a whole different story, but... Even with my years of, of playing... Now, if I found this guy in the open world, I'm pretty sure I could just destroy him, right? At least in an 8.4 fight. But maybe... Maybe... Is he doing something like hitting... Stunning people in the traps, maybe? What, what is... What is the thing with Purge, too? Is he... Cha are people running from him? Is he purging people from chasing him? I'm... I, I'm really... I don't know what's going on here with this. Well, again... We're slowly clearing the dungeon. There we go. We're just... We're getting her done. Look at these guys running around the, the thing. That does not feel good. Now, stunning them for this long does feel good. I will say that. But, uh, yeah, this, uh... 
This is taking forever. There we go. We got that guy down. And look at that. Fighting two mobs, we're down to like 40% HP. Oh, man. All right. Searching for dungeon. Now, here's the thing. My uh, my infamy is not that high. Okay, 115,000. Or 131 was my highest ever. So, I'm not going to... I shouldn't be matched against, like, good players. But I will mention that every time I've ever done Corrupted Dungeons, it's always some... Some guy that's like super high ranked and knows exactly how to play his build. I don't ever get any new players because I guess new players, you know, they know better than to, to try to do corrupted dungeons. I'm just assuming. I don't even know if I can kill the boss in this build. Can I even fight this guy? Like, I'm not, no, I don't want to stand in that. Hell no. Can I even stun the boss? No. Like, it's just a slap fight. Look at this. It's got to dodge. <laughs> How is this build supposed to function? Alright, now we can trade a big blow for a big blow. There we go. Oh, man. Like, that charge did 110. It's, 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 it's not even the strength of the Q spell, man. Now, I will say that the Q is really snappy while moving. Like, it, it is hitting the target pretty reliably. Man, th this is a 300k build. I'm not feeling like I'm worth 300k here. I could have already done the dungeon on another build. Alright, we got the demon cape down. It smelts in the boss. Yeah, this took ages. Bro, this build sucked. Is this a troll? Did an Albion dev just, like, code in that character? Surely not. Does anyone from you, uh, uh, freaking Albion Asia, can someone elaborate? Like, can we see what the deal is is going on here? I don't know, man. I am, uh, I am falling asleep here. This is, this is not worth. Like, it's not good fame. It's not good. Uh, it's not good anything right now. How can someone to like su subject themselves to playing like this? 15,000 kills. This guy, this exact video that you're watching now, this guy did this 15,000 times. Possibly more. Okay, depending on how many times he broke crystals or... Like, how do you not die once? How does your internet not go out one time? How does... How do you not encounter a speed hacker once? I don't understand. Like, I... <laughs> that's either he's like the luckiest man alive and he's... Okay, we just got a new reward. Ooh, referral. Yay, a thousand gold. All right, let's sell it immediately. See, now this is what I'm talking about. Five point... Dude, silver went down. The silver market's collapsing, boyos. Look at it. It's, it, it's sloped down in the past, like, day. Anyway, that's nice to get. Some, uh, some... All right, now we got some action. We're switching over to the slowing charge. We got our food buff ready. We got a little line here cleared. Let's freaking go. All right. And we're gonna hit that. No, no, no! The fucking cape! It popped the cape! I think I need the cape for killing. I don't- whatever. <laughs> you can clearly see I'm not experienced in- in this- Okay, he's over there. We're gonna- we're gonna meet right here in the little middle middle. What you got? Okay, you're light crossbow. I- I- a weapon I actually play. So I think I know how to- how to maybe fight this. What do I purge? I can't purge anything, can I? I don't think so, dude. All right, we're gonna just start attacking them. There we go. We're just gonna start bashing. I'm gonna use my armor spell. There we go. Go ahead and just pop boots so I can get some heals. Pop a potion. Pop that slowing charge. I did hit the, hit him with that. There we go. We're gonna purge that shield. Oh, dude! Wow, this is pretty easy. I think I'm I'm gonna die though. How do I how does what do I do here? Slowing charge. Slowing charge. Let's go. I got tackle soon. Oh, <laughs> hey, this build slaps. Best build in the game, guys. <laughs> a little donkey. I should have run out of donkey. Oh, and there we go. We got the dungeon loot. So, how much was all of? Dang, a lot of stuff trash though. So that was worth a hundred k. Hey, we made a hundred k in well, 15, 15 minutes. I don't know. I mean, maybe like 11, 12 minutes. All right, let's go to the surface and sell this stuff. I'm out, man. So definitely not worth the risk. And uh, yes, I'm aware I have plenty of food buff left. That actually, dude, I just hit the buttons not knowing what I was doing. I probably used my boots improperly and stuff. And that's a, 
Dude, that is a... I'm gonna tell you right now, that, that build I fought, it's pretty hard to beat. It's pretty hard to beat, but he did not run away. He couldn't run away. I probably could have ran away if I messed up. I don't think I messed up besides not having the demon cape except for the very end there. I think that's the... That's the big takeaway, is I beat him without the demon cape, except for the very last tick at the end there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, man, this is this is a nutty build. This is pretty cool. Uh, it, it, it will have a faster clear ability in the new April 15th patch. It will. It absolutely will. And, uh, you know, this build might be interesting and fun to play for Corrupted Dungeons after... after <laughs> what was that word I tried to say? After? After. After... April 15th. So there you go. That's Big Lazy Cat's undefeated 15,000 to zero <laughs> corrupted dungeon build. Hell, I, I don't know what the hell I was doing, and it worked for me. And I, how much infamy did I get out of that? Did, does it say 24,000 infamy? That guy. Let's look at him. Let's look at the dude. I, the, the, the dude we defeated. All right. So his infamy is two. So he's like double my experience essentially. His the highest was 550. Okay, right? So, this dude is, at his peak, was five times more experience. He's got eight, that, this guy, this is a man with 8,000 kills, and he died, to a man with 700 kills. So, if, if I think the build is a, is very good at carrying, so if you're interested in um, Corrupted Dungeons, and the thing is, is, yeah, that guy's doing Slayer, he's doing it with Awakened Weapons, of course, so is everybody these days. But, uh, yeah. I mean, if it wasn't so expensive, what's what's so expensive? The boots, the damn weapon. I don't know what's so expensive, but uh, yeah, try this build out. It freaking slaps. It, I just beat a very experienced player, and I didn't know what I was doing, you know. And there you go. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> you know, one of those rare soul, soul bingey PVP videos, right? Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. I'm sorry for not uploading for like so many days, but uh, this game is not making me enough money, so I'm having to do other things for money in the real world, so I don't have time to play. I'm sorry, but I think the YouTube journey might be over. But leave a like and uh, click the video on the right side of your screen, or um, animals will not like you as much as they currently do.